In this lesson, we're going to focus on classification keys. In our previous lesson, we looked at schemes of classification and classification keys. We learned that keys are features which can be seen at a glance to put organisms into groups. You also learned the types of keys, numbered keys and dichotomous keys. Today, you would learn how to use the key to group organisms. But before that, let us consider the objectives for today's lesson. By the end of today's lesson, you should be able to use the type of classification keys to put organisms into groups. At our last meeting, we looked at some organisms such as the lion, bat, lizard, fish, domestic fowl, ostrich, and snake. We shall begin with a dichotomous key, which is used to identify a few organisms in one exercise. Let us begin by grouping them using their external features. Now the issue is, are there scales on their bodies? Are there fur on their bodies? Do they have wings or limbs? Do the organisms with scales have removable scales or not? Do others have fins or not? Do some have moins and naked skin with others having dry, scaly skins? All these and many questions are asked to enable you group organisms using the dichotomous key. Now let us begin the dichotomous key. First, they are all organisms. Secondly, all the organisms are vertebrates. However, we can put them into two groups. That is, scales present and scales absent. For scales present, we have the snake, fish, and the lizard. And for scales absent, we have lion, ostrich, bat, and the domestic fowl. Now let's focus on the scales absent group. We can further divide them into absence of fur and presence of fur. For absence of fur, we're talking about the fowl and the ostrich because they have feathers. And for presence of fur, we're talking about the lion and the bat. We are now going to use long legs and short legs to differentiate the organisms. And for long legs, we have the ostrich, whilst for the short leg, we have the domestic fowl. Now for presence of fur, we're talking about presence of wings as against absence of wings. And with that, we have, for presence of wings, we're looking at the bat, whilst for the absence of wings, we're looking at the lion. Now we go back to scales present. Now our differentiating factor is going to be whether there are limbs or they don't have limbs. That is presence of limbs as against absence of limbs. For presence of limbs, we have the fish and the lizard. Whilst for absence of limbs, we're talking about the snake. Now for presence of limbs, because the organisms are two, we have to further divide them. So we are now going to use absence of removable scales as against presence of removable scales. For absence of removable scales, we're talking about snake and lizard. Whilst presence of removable scales, we're talking about the fish. Now for absence of removable scales, we're going to use another differentiating factor, which is limbs absent and limbs present. And with that, for limbs absent, we're talking about the snake, whilst for limbs present, we're talking about the lizard. Now try to put organisms under scales present into groups. Good. Now let's begin with the numbered key. 